Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal! In the last part, we beat Sprout Tower! We beated Sprout Tower, whatever. Uh, in this part, we're gonna go ahead and go through the rest of Violet City Gym to awesome music! And hopefully fight Faulkner, alright. Uh, something I thought I'd mention really quick is the fact that in the remakes Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you have to do Sprout Tower first. In this game, you don't have to do Sprout Tower first. You can fight the Violet Gym anytime you want in the original, but in the remakes, they make you do Sprout Tower first. Which I guess makes sense, because they don't want you to miss the HM. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and raise up Fanpy just a tad more. I went ahead and I went to a Pokemon Center off screen, you know, just to save on time. Let's go ahead and throw Growlithe out there. Growlithe should grow a level right here. Hopefully Fanpy will too. Let's go ahead and... Ember! Oh, God, I really hate my Growlithe's nickname. Like, I seriously just couldn't think of anything. And what really stinks is that I thought... Ooh, it stinks. Is the fact that I thought of a really good nickname for it, but... I can't change it until I get to the third... No, oh, until I get to Goldenrod City, which is not for a little while. Two more towns away from here. But, yeah. Kind of sucks. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and send out... He's going to send out Pidgey. Let's go ahead and head back to Fanfy, who did not grow a level. I don't know what it's deal is. I don't know what Fanfy's problem is, not growing levels. Um, just saying right now, this gym leader is a freaking joke in the original game, the one that we're about to go against. I, I won't get too much into it until we get to the fight, but still, it just, it's not a hard fight. You are not going to have any difficulty at all, and wow, Fanfy really, really needs to get some- Whoa, holy crap, Fanfy, you came through! Maybe I won't- Maybe I'll just let Fanfy get all the experience from this, because- I was about to say, geez, Fanpy really needs some more levels on it, because Fanpy does have great stats. It's just the fact that its moves are very lackluster right now, so it's not doing very much damage. Alright. And now that it's gone ahead and beat a, a whole level 7 Pidgey all by itself. Ooh, defense curl. Uh, yeah, we got it. Okay, so. Gah! We're gonna go and heal really quick. And we're back! It is now time to go up here, and... Here is Falky Boy! I promise I'll never call him that again. I have Totodile out front for reasons you'll see in just a minute. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People always say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the true power of Magnificent Bird Pokemon. Now I'll show you! Okay, whatever. Uh, anyway, um, in this game, it's impossible to have an electric type before him, so your best bet's gonna be Onix. Um, or just not having Chikorita as a starter. Uh, in the remix, though, you can get an electric type before this fight, which I'll be getting into in a future part. Um, because there's an extra patch of grass that's around. Uh, what you're gonna want to do in this fight if you're a Totodile user like I am, just keep doing Rage. This guy's Pokemon are not very strong. His first Pokemon's a level 7 Pidgey, level 9 in the remake, with the moves Tackle and Mud Slap. Uh, Mud Slap's been replaced with Sand Attack in the remake. Uh, Sand Attack's a weaker move because it's basically Mud Slap, except it doesn't do damage. Um, so yeah, in terms of moves, he's better in this game, but in terms of levels, he's much better in the other game. Well, actually, in terms of moves, his other Pokemon is, is better in the remake, though, but whatever. Uh, his next Pokemon up is Pidgeotto. Uh, level 9, level 13 in the remake, with the moves Tackle, Mud Slap, and Gust in this game. Tackle, Roost, and Gust in the next game. Uh, Roost is a new move introduced in the fourth generation. Roost, uh, is a flying-type move that lets it recover half its HP, which is really, really, really annoying, especially with high, how high level it is in the remake. So, this Pidgeotto is pretty big and bad in the remake, I'm, I'll just say that. Um... But what's actually kind of uh, good about that is that Roost makes it so that you lose your flying type for a turn, so you can actually hit this thing with a fighting type move and be super effective uh, if you have such a move, or hit it with a ground type move. Anyway, Toad Dogger to level 11! Awesome! Go Dog! Oh, oh, I thought it was going to get level 12. Dang. But there we go, Faulkner was defeated! Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon! He's a gym leader and he can't even get his own Pokemon? Ah, uh, lame! Go die in a fire. And I received the Zephyr Badge! Awesome, even though I have no idea what a Zephyr is. Actually, I kind of do, I'm just not really sure. I think it has something to do with aeronautics. Oh, well. Anyway, we got we can now use Flash, and he gives us TM31, which is Mud Slap, which is not a flying-type move, which really doesn't make much sense. Uh, it's a ground-type move, so we're going to go ahead and teach that to Fanpy, so it'll have, finally have a move that gets same type attack bonus. Uh, Fanpy lowering accuracy and having high defenses is pretty good. Um, in the remake, he gives you the TM for Roost, which is also pretty good, but anyway. Going out here, we get a phone call! Called it! Called it! Bad pun. 
Alright, interesting about the egg mice is that the Pokemon Center in Violet City can just talk to him. In the remake, he asks you to go to the Pokemart, but in this case, we're not playing the remake now, are we? So I should stop talking about it so much. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to him. And it's aid! Okay, whatever. And I've been saying whatever too much in this video. I'm just like, whatever, 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 whatever. Okay, it's like Mario Sunshine all over again. Uh, this is a new thing that was introduced in this game, Pokemon Eggs. From walking, ar You have to walk around a certain number of steps before the egg hatches, and it'll contain a special kind of Pokemon. Uh, we'll get into what Pokemon is in this egg when we see it moves around sometimes, and it's a cool statue. So this one's already, I guess you could say, pre-walked a little bit, <laughs> if you want to use those words. Alright, I went ahead and taught Mudslip to Fambi. Something I should note to you is that TMs are one use, meaning you can only teach the move once, and then that's it. Never again, not even another Pokemon, whereas HMs are infinite use. So, anyway. Uh, going in here, into the store, uh, you're going to want to stock up on a few things. Uh, don't uh, I'll explain why in just a minute. You're going to want to buy an escape route before you got here. Even though it's kind of expensive, you're going to want to get it. Uh, getting a few antidotes might not be a bad idea either, just because you never know when you'll get poison, and even if you're not going to use it right away, it's a great idea to have. Mail is useless! Go die! Uh... I don't think we really need more Pokeballs. I think I'll just grab a couple just to be on the safe side. And potions, we'll grab five just because you never know. Um, but yeah, I probably stocked up a lot more than I should have. But anyway, just want to be on the safe side. Let's go ahead and head south. Head south! Um, this tree right here is an apricorn tree. It's a Purs Cureberry! Paralyzed Cureberry. I always love the abbreviations they had to do back in these earlier games. Uh, before we go further out into Route 32, we're going to go ahead and head out here. Over to the ruins of Alf! No, it's not a ruins of a once great puppet. Okay, whatever. Uh, what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and head over here. You're gonna see some hieroglyphs. Hat has appeared on the walls. And an unknown language that says escape. Stand in front of it. Go into your items. And use an escape rope. Once you do that, go ahead and re answer. And the ground is shaking. What's up? Let's go ahead and talk to the scientist. All right. There's another huge hole. That's what she said. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get these things right here. We can get a berry. You get four free items for doing this. Definitely worth the cost of the escape rope. A PSN. Okay, I'll stop. Poison cure berry. An energy powder, which heals by 50 HP, but it'll make your Pokemon like you a little bit less. And a heal powder, which is like a full heal, but makes your Pokemon like you a little bit less. Still good nonetheless. You know, you never know when you might need stuff that good. Uh, right here, there's a sliding puzzle for you to do. I'll go ahead and just cut ahead to solving this. It's supposed to look like a Kabuto, by the way. Cadillac. Do, 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 do. All right. I always thought that sound sounded like it was going Cadillac. But yeah, we solved the puzzle, and... We're going down to the ground! Underground, rather. There's a strange presence here. Whatever could- HOLY CRAP! Okay, I'm sorry. Uh... This is unknown! Unknown has 26 different forms, one for each letter of the alphabet. In the DS games, it has two extra forms for an exclamation mark and a question mark. It's really just a gimmick Pokémon. It is not good at any stretch of the word. It can only ever learn hidden power, and its stats are sucktacular. Uh, funny thing is, I've actually found a shiny unknown E in a game before, which E being the first letter of my name is awesome that I found that, but anyway. Uh, hidden power can be any type besides normal. It's really complicated how it works, though, so I'm not going to try to explain it too much. But anyway, that about does it for unknown. We've done just about all there is to do here for now at the Ruins of Alf, so... So, we had some pretty good progress for this part if we got a badge and... <laughs> Good progress. Okay, anyway, one last thing I should mention is... Jeez! I waited until I was outside to further explain this. Okay, there are 26 kinds of unknowns. If you catch them all, all you get is the ability to use your Game Boy printer to print them off in this house. That is it. You just print out pictures of them. That is your reward. That is it. Okay, so anyway, next time Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be heading out further into Route 32, alright? See you guys then.